There are experts in greenhouse farming providing technical support on how to manage greenhouse facilities effectively to improve yield whilst protecting the environment from the devastating impact of climate change. In Ghana, Tech Shelter is a leading agribusiness service oriented company that helps farmers to provide the, if improve the efficiency of greenhouse farming using technological innovations. Today, in our climate focused series, we bring you an excerpt on the interventions by Tech Shelter towards improving food security and fighting climate change. For many years, Ghanaian farmers have cleared very large hectares of land to grow food and cash crops to feed themselves and the entire nation. They use old farming methods that produce very low yields while relying on the unpredictable rainfall patterns, fertilizers and pesticides. The devastating impact of climate change is making this way of farming very unproductive. Climate smart agricultural methods like greenhouse farming have been seen as a way of ensuring food security. In Ghana, Tech Shelter is the leading agribusiness service oriented company that helps farmers to improve the efficiency of greenhouse farming using technological innovations. Greenhouses are by design a strict regime kind of growing of crops and you're supposed to maintain certain activities in fixed times and schedules. So some of these were managed manually and these manual inefficiencies affected yields. Um, also, we also observed that some of the greenhouse farmers lacked the requisite knowledge to be able to understand even the language of the crop, the agronomy of the crop, knowing what to give to the crop, even getting feedback from the crop, because the crop would normally give you feedback by the fruits you get, the color of leaves, and so much more. So the agronomy, there was a gap. The time of delivery of agronomy was also a problem. Even when they have endeavored to even do this 40% of yield, they had a problem of connecting this produce to market. That was a major problem. So you do well to produce under this strict regime of production and only go out there in the open market to compete with all these open field products, which probably are not premium. This is a team of engineers, agronomists, agro trainers, logistics and supply chain experts who come together to deliver smart technological solutions in greenhouse farming. After years of painstaking studies in this sector, this team of young innovators started a search and rescue mission to re-engineer some greenhouse facilities. We instituted the search and rescue project because we realized that many farmers had given up hope on the process of running greenhouses or using greenhouses as a, a way of uh, growing crops. So we set out to rather, instead of starting just new ones, let's go look at those who have got their greenhouses non-operational to get them back to operations and make them profitable. So in our search, we, we saw a lot of them. We saw a lot of greenhouses which were down. But engaging uh, the particular owner of this place was quite interesting because he was more willing to restart. Many of the others had given up hope because whatever you said, it was like they've heard that story before. They've heard that story before. So when we engaged this particular greenhouse farmer, he said, okay, guys, try with the first three because he had six on his farm. So we kicked up the first three, and when he saw the yields and how the, our operations were going, he felt there was no need to wait any longer. So he handed over the entire space that, guys, take over the space and do what you want with it. And over time, we've grown from the six, and now we're at 14. We added two, eight new ones last year. Since then, this agribusiness startup is growing very fast, providing an engineering solution to agricultural problems in the open field. That's Tech Shelter, they're part of our uh, series on climate action that is sponsored by the Ghana uh, Climate Innovation Centre. We'll bring you more of that.